everybody, welcome back. I hope you've had a good day so far. We've still got a couple of hours for you with a fantastic craft along today. As I said earlier on, sorry, I just really drank some tea just before I came on air. Mm. <laughs> it's still stuck there. As I said before, if you've got any questions, if you're new to us or if you have been watching us for a long time, but you've got some questions or you've got some tips that you would like to share, please feel free to message in um, so we're able to ask them to Debbie or actually disseminate the tips and hints that you've got. Because as we've often said, if people have got questions, people in the comments are really sort of very open and helpful about giving you advice. Um, so we're quite a nice, inclusive family here well, at least well, that's what we like to think we are um, and do get message in if you've got any sort of handy ideas maybe you're telling us about something you're doing this weekend maybe you're having a bit of fun maybe you've got a party to go to um do drop us a note we do like to well i'm just put it out there i'm really nosy I like to know what everyone else is doing because I've got absolutely nothing planned this weekend. So I like to live my life voraciously throughout you all. Um, so we have a fantastic craft along today and we have the lovely Debbie Robinson. Yay! Fresh Here, she's off back, the back again. And going like, fresh off the back of that fabulous launch. Can I just mm -hmm. tell you, you guys have loved that launch just as much as we did. So much so, I said, can I keep it up? Because just for those people that might have missed it, yes, it's a craft along, but the launch the first chance to get hold of it today here in the uk and around the world is here um so if you do like them we're, we're going to give you a fresh reminder later on however it's our award-winning craft along mm -hmm. show and we're going to focus on the most beautiful collection which is the i, I almost feel like i want to be transported over there to and obviously every time you say it becky you're going to burst into song i just know you are to the arabian nights are you ready Arabian Nights. No, I've never film. heard that song. From what? what? No. What? No, I mean, I thought you were going to sing A Whole New World from Aladdin. But the oh, Arabian Nights is from Aladdin. Oh, is it? I didn't Thank know. Thank you. Oh, no. there. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but I mean, my children never watched Aladdin. Really? Yeah, they oh, weren't interested. Favourites. Yeah. My daughter, Tanya. And now she's 30 something now. But yeah, she <laughs> loved that film so much. I don't much. know that song. I think I must have seen it about a thousand times easily. Oh. Over the three kids. Yeah. Because obviously it transcended from, like, went down from Tanya to Liam to Tasha. I've tried to get Sapphire and Ezra. And Ezra, if you're watching, because he watched us earlier, Becky, because yep. yeah, we're in a bit of a strop and he wanted to see his Nana. And Ezra, if you're watching, and Sapphire. Nana loves you. I'll see you Friday morning when I come and take Aww. you to school and nursery. Aww. Uh, but yes, so I've been trying to get those two into it, but they're not yeah. quite into the Disney films just yet. Are they not? Because um, Aladdin was based on Tom Cruise. What? Did you know that? So when when they design the the people, um, they designed when they when you look at Aladdin, you'll think actually yeah he does look like a young young Tom Cruise. Well he and does. They base they base the character on you no know, a celebrity. My goodness yeah, so me, you learn something new every day. With me, well, with me, <laughs> Debbie, it's all useless. <laughs> Well, you're going to learn something today because we're going to take you through this fabulous, gorgeous collection. And it really is. It's got all those lovely tone colours in there and that beautiful Arabian, uh, me well, just a beautiful feel. So this is the Craft Along project, which you might think, yeah, that looks really lovely. I'm uh, Two hours, Debbie, are you sure? Uh, but yes, because we've got a bit of work to do. Whoa. So we are going to do what Lily has, uh, <laughs> Lily has called. She's nicknamed me a new name yesterday. She went the 300, did she say 360 or something like that? 360 didn't she? Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Debbie Robinson experience of having from the front to the middle to the oh, back. That is special We're going part. all the way around to make your card really special. Mm. Um, and we have got two hours live and interactive. Oh my gosh! On a craft along, I'm so excited. So, yes, really looking forward to getting my teeth into this one. I hope you can craft along. Do tell us if you are or share with us and tag i've already seen a couple of tags from yesterday's shows which is lovely keep on tagging uh, myself and becky into them as well if you did do um some of the earlier ones from the mm -hmm. launch mind you would they have been able to no because they haven't got them yet no because the new nest and dies aren't that's right yes but you might have got your arabian nights and you could craft along with us as well so we really welcome you to come and join us for these next two hours Fantastic. That looks absolutely glorious. I really like all the colours that you've got in that, um, that card. I'm looking forward to that. So a few hellos from people. Um, we've got Betsy saying hello from Houston, Texas. Um, Sherlan says good morning, everybody. Lynn Harvey says hello again. Becky, Debbie, amazing CTV team and our wonderful social media superstar and everyone. 
Jeffrey says, um, hello, uh, it's a grey day here in New Hampshire, very overcast. Oh, it's been a bit rainy here. Mary Beth says, hi, everyone joining in from Minnesota. Kendall says, hello, everyone from Minnesota. It's a beautiful day. Um, Crofty, not Crofty, by Hillary says, hello. Um, Teresa says, hello. Um, Nicole is here. And um, Marley says, that is fantastical, Debbie. I absolutely love it. It's so funny. I think we're looking forward to seeing what we, you're going to be doing. Um, have you got the shopping list ready? The you menu. Yeah, the menu. The sorry, menu the of menu. The ingredients. The menu. A new Debianism this week. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is what you're going to need, guys, if you are crafting along. So, um, Arabian Nights in the collection, I've used the decorated window die set, the magical window scenes stamp and die set, the joyous occasion stamp set, shimmering pads. Oh, my life, those shimmering pads are Fine. Um, the 8x8 foil transfers, the 12x12 12 12 paper pad, uh, luxury linen card pack that comes within the Arabian Nights collection. In addition to that, um, I have used, and you can use, or if you haven't got um, a jet black or pig pigment ink pad, you can use any uh, black ink pad to create those lovely silhouettes. Multi-purpose card, multi-purpose card stock. Oh, yes, a little bit. Um, black <laughs> matte cardstock, Gemini die cutting machine, scissors, pokey tool, blending tool, all purpose glue, tacky glue, foam pads. And I'm thinking, is there anything else on that? I don't think there is. So I think that is everything you need on that menu list with all the ingredients in there for you to craft along with us. I love the fact you call it a menu, although it reminds me of that. Have you watched the film, The Menu, yet? No. With, um... yeah, very fine. That, uh, that's quite a good film. It's quite, quite weird. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, don't watch it with the children. That's what I'd say. <laughs> it's quite good though. Enjoy it. Um, so to show you what um, you're going to get in the whole showstopper, which has got all the Arabian Nights bits and pieces, this is the first one I'm going to show you. It's a set of um, dies and stamps here. You can see you've got those beautiful kind of turrets, all those different types of turrets that you would... Um, I ideally sort of think about when you talk about um, Arabian Nights and things like that and all of those different iconic images here so that's your first one then we've got um, some of these um, foil transfers again with all of those beautiful imagery we've got a selection of shimmer ink pads and you can see if I just move the well, I'm almost blinded by the shimmer on them. Really amazing collection there. Um, we've got some sentiments here um, using some beautiful um, fonts as well, sort of really sort of make you think about sort of Arabic um, writing. Then we've got one of our edible dyes. Oh, God, I cannot move things properly. This is your embellished twin here. That is really pretty. I love the edibles that we do. I think they look so gorgeous. This next one is your Moroccan lantern. I've always wanted to go to Morocco. I've never been. I've, I've never like been. Yeah. I went to book it and I accidentally booked Monaco instead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, I was on Monaco, Morocco. I was about 19 at the time anyway. I cancelled it. It wasn't quite what I was looking for. <laughs> um, this is your ornamental tile. Look at that. There's so much going on in that. There's so much intricacy there. This next one is your decorated window. Again, you've got beautiful imagery on that and you've got lots and lots of fretwork on the actual um, door this next one is your doesn't say on the back um, but you've got that beautiful skyline which is really lovely very very pretty um, image that you've got here fabulous embossed folder this is your mosaic tiles look at that with those colors on there it looks really good and then we've got a selection of stencils here um, real making making um, sound work here but look at those they are absolutely beautiful this one particularly it, especially in the yellow it just makes you think you're walking across a tiled floor doesn't it very very pretty and then we have um, other bits and pieces in the collection including um, paper pads so we've got a six by six paper pad I'll go give it a quick flick through because I'll show you on the larger um, paper pad exactly what you're going to be getting in here but as always with the paper pads the six by six or a slightly smaller version of the 12 by 12 um, by small I mean the imagery is smaller um, you're also going to be getting a selection of a card that works with all of these colors and then we're going to go to the 12 by 12 paper pad where you can properly see well you would do if I'd taken the tape off the side of this <laughs> bear with me a moment there you go there you go Right, there we go. So as always, um, we have one side of the paper pad which is more muted tones and the other one is more um, intricately illustrated. But you've got that fantastic skyline with those really beautiful colours, peacock blues, the fuchsia pinks um, and those turquoise colours. It is absolutely stunning. 
Um, as always, you've got really good quality paper pads on this and the smaller paper pad will just be the same imagery, just made smaller. It's not a chunk taken out of the 12 by 12 paper pad. You've got smaller imagery on there. So you've got all of those lanterns, um, almost sort of pearl, layers of pearls across the sky. It is absolutely beautiful collection that you've got there. So for all of that, and there is a lot here, that is £125 or $155. Your platinum price is £100 or $124. And there is so much in this collection. You really are getting a feast for your eyes. An Arabian feast An for Arabian your eyes. An Arabian feast. I can't believe you didn't know. Arabian eyes. So it's, it's, it's sounding <laughs> vaguely familiar. I might put it on my, my playlist yeah. to listen on the way home. That's it. Yeah, yes. yeah I'll do that. Definitely. Excellent. Definitely. Right, should we get started? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I forgot what we were doing then. <laughs> thought we were in a different show then. <laughs> of course we're doing the craft along. Are you ready? Uh, Matt's black cardstock is the main base of the card. So that's where we're going to start. And we're going to cut out um, how we're going to create, because it's quite a nice size card, this. I'm one of those that don't believe you have to stand by or stick by the things that will fit in a 5x5 five five envelope or a 6x6 six six or a 5x7. I like to create my own size because, of course, we can make our own things in terms of boxes and envelopes and umbrella boxes. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, that's why I choose different sizes. Yeah. I think you'll always notice when I come and do demos, there's always something different. It's not, it's not always the same kind of style card. You always surprise um, me, Debbie. Bless you. Thank you very much, Becky. You're very kind. Can't wait to see your store. I'm really looking forward mm. to watching you in action. Uh, right, so guillotines um, is the choice, first of all. So matte black cardstock and your guillotine. Pull out your leg, as far as it'll go. <laughs> Becky, that way you... <laughs> Becky physically pulled out her leg as far as it would go, and then we heard a big, loud bang. What yeah. did you think? And <laughs> not the heater over. <laughs> Now, I want to make it, it's going to be a nine by six one, this one. So the first of all, the first panel will be nine inches by six. As always, for those people using the guillotine for the first time, um, always push it up to the straight edge because you're on the extended leg as well, or the arm or whatever you want to call this. I call it a leg. Um, you need it to be flush all the way up to the top. If you don't, it'll alter the cut of your card. Mm -hmm. So it's always make sure it's up to the butt of that top end of the board. When it comes to these, now these are um, integrated scoreboards and we had to carry it through to the leg. The only reason being, even though there's no scoreboard here, we, we, couldn't diff, we couldn't do the difference between the two. So just bearing in mind, you just need to go to the line before the score line, before the dip goes in. And that's your true nine inch. So nine inches by six inches. And that's your first panel. We're going to take a second panel, but we need this to be a bit bigger because we're making our own card base. So this one is going to be uh, 10 inches by 6 inches. And we're going to put a score line in. And I think while it's on the board, because we keep forgetting this, while it's on the board, you can put your score line into place. So when I'm talking about a score line, I'm just going to turn it around for a second. Um, and you'll see that if I bring this down, you could use one of these. So if I take it up to that six, I could actually go to number five, put my score line down there, and that's your score line into place. Yeah. Um, so while it's there. I always forget to do that. Yeah, because it's a scoreboard. We keep yeah. forgetting about this being a scoreboard. And it, it is, you know, I, honestly, I do it all the time. You'll see me every time I come and do a craft log, I get my scoreboard back up thinking, yeah. what's this? To the scoreboard. Um, so that's your nine by six base, and we'll stick those panels down in a second. But there is a piece on the inside. Now it looks small. It isn't. It's a little bit bigger than small because I wanted it to come under here, but then I wanted to hide it. So I've hid it with some panels so that I've got a really nice, strong. I could have done a really small piece, but it would have weakened it. So I've done for a night. It, it comes to here and finishes there. So it's got this fold. So I'm going to give you the measurements for this. So I then put the inner panel to, again, six inches. So we'll pop it this way. I need to tell Jake that we've got no more black, matte black cardstock here, full pieces, and I'm needing some. So You need some I'm, more? I'm hoping he'll, uh, he'll come and grab us, um, grab us some. I'm going to take this to 11 inches. So we're going to come in at 11 inches. So I'm just going to move that out of the way just for a second because we are going to cut some panels as well because we've got a nice bit of decorative to do in these two hours. And we've also got um, some inking to do as well as some die cutting. Um, so that's going to sit on the inside. This is your main card base. And you can, of course, at this point, glue this together. 
So if you pop your tape pen or your red liner tape or just put three or four pieces of glue onto there and then just take it up to that edge of the card. Keep these nice and flush either side. Add the heat with your fingers because the heat from the fingers makes that glue stick even better. So that's your card base done, okay? And then this one, we're going to put some score score lines into place and I will use the scoreboard. Thank you so much, Becky. That's very kind of you. Got loads now. Look at this. Big wad. Woo! I will put it in the <clears throat> I will put it in there, Becky. I promise I will put it in there. <laughs> she says uh, now if you're using a smaller board I mean in fact let me bring in my large board because um, it'll be easier for me to put that onto there so if I bring in this we're going to put some score lines into place uh, to create that inner part and we are going to do some die cutting on that inner part so as always your card goes up to the left hand side of the board right up to that ridge you butt it up to the edge and then we're going to score this at two and three quarter inches And we're going to score that at uh, five and a half inches. And then lastly, we're going to score at eight and a quarter. Now, if you've got the smaller one, I think it goes up to, is it eight and a quarter? I think it's eight and a quarter it goes up to, but it right. can be a bit difficult to get in. So if you've got the large one, that's absolutely fine. However, what you could do on your small board, and I'll do it when I've done this um, score line, Becky, because I said eight and a quarter, didn't I? Um, what you could do if you've got your small scoreboard is go to those two marks, but then turn it around right. and put your first score line back in at two and three quarters because it's even. Yeah. Um, so that's one way around that you can do it with the small scoreboard if you haven't got uh, the big one. Um, and then you're going to, well, we'll put it in so I can show it into perspective, but you don't need to burnish it just yet because it is going to go through the die cutting machine. But I'll just, just show you to create the pop out. So... If I just fold those, so I went in the mountain in the middle part and then these two came up, so into the valleys, so that when you look at it, because that is going to sit on the inside of your card, yeah. like so, but we're not going to stick that down just yet because we're going to die cut into it, so there's no point sticking it in, mm -hmm. but you've got your pieces for your main part of your card. The next things that we'll do, and I think we'll get them out of the way so that they're out of the way, are all of your mats and your layers for the inside of the panel. This is when you're going to choose. Now, I will tell you, on this, I only did mats and layers on the front. Right. And I didn't on the back, and I didn't on the insides, because that paper is quite striking. Yeah. And it didn't need the same, for me, it didn't need the same framing. The only reason I framed this is because I've got these three Tourette's in the middle with that stamp and that gorgeous colour. And I just wanted to break it up that little bit. So that's why I put a frame on the front. Uh, but on the inside, it didn't need it really. So I've just kept it really plain with papers and then using those gorgeous windows with some of those stamps into there. And then the same on the back. Although I think I've got it. Oh, I think I've. Oh, you mean a mucky pup? I've got it muckied. Oh, I'm not happy. Let me see if I could. I'll get rid of it, don't worry. Come off. You don't have these nails this long for nothing. But you are <laughs> coming off. You are not staying there. <laughs> but so what we'll do is we'll cut the panels. So this is when you're going to choose. Now it's up to you. Um, we've got lots of gorgeous colours in here. So I'll just go take them all out so that you can see them. And I think I've got them all. And then your papers. So really, it depends on the colour scheme that you want to go with. Now, you've got six colours, and I'm just going to bring them in because you might not like the colour theme that I've chosen. So, you've got six shimmer colours. And the reason that I chose these particular ones, because I felt like it gave you that little bit of a sun-kissed evening, a mm -hmm. little bit of a lovely bit of red going off in there. It actually is the sunrise and the golden alongside the lavender because i put the lavender down here but if you don't like that particular combination yeah. perhaps you like those two and the moonlit sky think about then your papers and your back yeah. your back piece um although saying that becky these have been collaborated color wise to match beautifully with the inks and with the papers that are in the collection i mean look at them yeah. No matter which way you look at that, you can see practically every colour of that in mm -hmm. there. Um, and the same with these, they, you know, they'll work and they'll colour coordinate with most and the majority of that beautiful paper pad. Do you know, shall I, I was going to think, shall I change it up? I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether to change it up myself now. <gasps> Why not? Well, do you think it'd look Life's just as nice? Life's too short. Change it up. 
I know. Mind you, saying that, I will be totally honest with you, I didn't use what we call the A side. I used the B side. Oh, so when So can you see which one? I know. And I went with the B side on the front. On the inside, I also chose the B side, apart okay. from the middle panel. And I went a little bit A side in there. Again, choices. Yeah. It's up to you. Show sure craft along. Um, you can choose whichever you want. Um, hmm. Oh. This is the problem. There's so many options, aren't there? Oh. Spoilt. What I'm choice? thinking that that would work lovely as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's change it up. Let's have a change up. Oh, why not, Becky? Because we can. Do you know then, for a, thing, I, for a second, I thought they were two stuck together. I forget how it's, quality these, yeah. these paper pads are. Absolutely superb quality. So, obviously, I'm not using that one now, so I might have to change up. Move those back over there. Actually, to be fair, I don't really have to change up at all, do I? No, we'll stick to the orange, because I do love that orange, I'm not going to lie. Although, Becky, I might have to pinch one out of yours. Oh, actually, no, I think I might get away with it, Becky. I think I might I'm get away poised. with it. I'm poised, ready to You're poised. have a rabbit. Well, I've still got two here. What Jake doesn't know was that I pinched them out of his pack. I've been doing it all oh, day. I, I know, all of these secrets are coming out. Debbie. Well, the thing is, you know, I could have done this at home, but I didn't want to do it up here because I knew I could get away with using the studio <laughs> set and saving on my own. <laughs> That's the truth. Let's just get it out there. Craig will tell you the same. <laughs> uh, uh, Debbie is um, coming. <laughs> You're like, um, what was his name? Baldrick. Uh, I have a cunning, a cunning plan. plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do all my prep in the studio and then I don't have to use any of my own paper pads. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I've done. <laughs> now, your card base is nine by six, so I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch and I'm going to get the... Um, I'm going to say where I can get the more frugal part of my card. So I'm going to turn it on, its on this side and go down to five and three quarters of an inch because that's the, the first quarter, shall we call it, and the same with this one, inch down, quarter of an inch down. Um, instead of it, oh, it's not eight, Debbie, it's nine. Um, up to eight and three quarters. So this piece measures at eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then your patterned paper. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use it. Oh, do I use that? Oh, I think I might use A side on this one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to chop it from the bottom because I'm really not sure. So if I chop from the bottom, I can then decide, can't I? Yeah. So um, coming down in that theory of a quarter of an inch, we're taking this to five and a half. So it's going to be five and a half by... Oh, which side? That side. Uh, by eight and a half. Sorry, guys, if those... Because well, I'm, I'm, I'm literally... i just come in, if you can go over your measurements again, I can do, indeed, please. absolutely. Um, so, while we're doing that, shall we do it now, or do you want me to get my mats and layers done and then repeat them all? Maybe get them all, all done, repeat yeah. them all in one go, because yeah. Because that's, that's the front better. panel of the, the card base itself, which is what we've made, OK? So, I'll talk about this one first. This one is two pieces that have been spliced together. And we'll be able to cover up that join, even if you were going to stick it in, this, in the middle part as well. But the first part measures 9 by 6. Yep. The second part measures 10 by 6, scoring it an inch in on the long, on the well, we'll call it the land, um, landscape yep. way. And then you join the two together to create a 9 by 6 base. The mat and layer for that one is 8 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. And this one is eight and a half by five and a half. So that's your mats and layers for the front part of your card. The inner part of your card was 11 inches by six and we scored it at two and three quarter inches, five and a half and eight and a quarter. And that creates that little middle fold pop out. And what we'll do in a minute is we'll cover the, we'll get the panels that we're gonna do for the inside there. Because basically when you've popped this in, now you would automatically think, Oh, I'm going to do a full strip again. That we haven't. We've done it slightly smaller. Right. And the reason being is that that is three pieces of paper in there. Okay. There's a paper in the middle. Yeah. And there's two papers here to cover the joins up 
and to, to get that lovely smooth clean I mean it really looks clean and you can't tell anywhere because of the way that I've planned it with the measurement wise if that makes sense yes does that make sense yeah good because and I like I was... the fact you can hide you know any of the yeah the, the workings absolutely yeah and that's what you want to do you want to try and hide some of those workings so with that said in mind this is when you'll need two parts of your color and again I think on this particular one I'm going to use the um, B side of it on the inside but I did say I haven't done any mats and layers at this stage on the inside. It doesn't need it, guys. Don't waste your linen cardstock. Yeah. Just keep it to the paper. The paper speaks volumes. It's got lovely patterns on there, no matter which sheet you choose. Um, so for that, the centre pattern paper in the middle bit is going to be at... I'm going to have that, going to have that in the centre. So it's going to measure in at six inches by five and three quarters. Um, so I'll come into six by five and three quarters. And then you do want it to be like in half as well. So you can either do it with your hands or you can go in at three inches. So because we've got as guillotine out, little small line at the three centimeters to help you get that fold into place because that bit is the bit that's going to be on the inside panel that will be sitting on the inside of there because obviously there's going to be a decorative window cut out does yep. that make sense becky yeah makes sense. yeah does that yep. okay with the measurement wise yeah i think so perfect and then just two more panels and then we will while we're at it we'll get the um, back part done as well because there is little decorative piece on the back which is why you're going to need two sheets from your cardstock because that one actually does measure at so bear in mind nine by six just a quarter of an inch in it's eight and three quarters by five and three quarters mm -hmm. so i'm going to get that other sheet becky oh oh i'm at it again becky 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 which do i use i couldn't choose i'd really <gasps> I think it's very the hard to thing. choose when the paper is yeah. so beautiful. It really is beautiful. I can understand because Deb's fell in love with this one on the Arabian Nights one. She said this paper pad's absolutely stunning. And I agree with her. It is a really beautiful one. Look at all that imagery and it almost looks like, it feels like you're there. Mm. Starry skies, that beautiful uh, Moroccan kind of uh, trellis tile going off there. Just beautiful. And then in the background, the lovely imagery. It really is stunning. Uh, so that measures in at eight and three quarters by five and three quarters so that it fits onto the back part of your panel. Now, the only two other bits that we're going to do, because we've done the front, we've done the back, we need the middle, and these, guess what Debbie's forgot to do? Write them down. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> let me just get my ruler really quickly to remind myself because, oh, I knew I, knew I should have done it. <laughs> I should have wrote it down. It's six and a half by five and three quarters. Okay. Right, there we go. Now then, Debbie, where's that panel? Is that my back panel? Yes, it is. Put that to one side so you're not cutting into it. It's this that you're going to cut into. I've done that so many times. Do you know, I, honestly, seriously, I am shocking for it. So five and three quarters by... Oh, now then, we might have to go into a third sheet. Oh, Debbie. What a waste. You were so good uh, earlier on. I was so good being yeah. so frugal. But unfortunately, it's a good job I did choose another design, isn't it? Because I only Jeez. had one sheet of this. So I'm not letting you have any of the ones that were Actually, here. Becky, I might need to take yours. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Nothing. What was that? I like these. It's okay. Because there's three <laughs> sheets in each one. <laughs> You were holding that pad to ransom, oh, weren't oh, you? I think it's lovely. I really, really like... I like all the colours on this. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. So, again, that panel is six and a half by five and three quarters. And they are the two panels that are going to sit at either side on your inner card. So, I think... Oh, one exception. We just need to do this part. It's going to have... Oh, it's going to irritate me, that... Um, we're going to have this piece, what we're going to do some foiling onto as well. Nice. Um, now, if you don't want to foil on it, that's fine, because you could just have that as... Because, obviously, when you're doing a 360 card and you're going to... You need somewhere to write, because, obviously, it's nice having a fancy card, but you need to write your message to wherever that is. Uh, so this is your... I mean, again, a choice, and because Debbie didn't write it down. Um, seven and a half by four and a half is your white panel. That's where... <laughs> 
I did wonder when I said to you, where's that white card strap come from? Well, this is why, because it's this, it's this part that we're going to um, frame our foiling on. So it's seven and a half by four and a half, I think I said. Correct I've me if I'm wrong. I've not seen the foil transfers being used yet. Have you not? No. They're lovely. So that's that middle, middle panel there on the back. And again, if you don't want to foil, that looks equally as nice. Yeah. Um, and then you can write your message on. So that bit is up entirely up to you. I just went OTT because I could. <laughs> no, not. I know. Right. So I think all of those measurements, if anybody wants anything repeating, just let me know. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to push all of those to one side because what you can be doing, and you can do this if you want to, is you could be sticking those panels on the front but don't stick anything other than the back. So you can put your back panel on, but again, don't stick your white piece down because if you stick... <laughs> Just realised I'm thinking, what the? Where's my white panel gone? That was from earlier. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, you could be sticking that down, but I would advise you not to. Right, okay. Because I'm going to use the foiling, but I'm going to use the foiling with the machine. Ooh. I've said this before, I find it easier. A rub-on yeah. foil transfer is good if you've got a good strong hand, but if you haven't, the, foil, the machine will work equally as well. And as we found out yesterday, not yesterday, Monday, when I was with Leanne, it works through the MIDI as well, but oh. we'll talk about that a little bit more. So the only really bits that you need to stick down right now are your front and your back. And if you want to make this cardstock go further, take your paper trimmer and gut it. Excuse me, extract it. The right word being there. Just we're not, we're so. Not using. I've been, do you know, I keep saying I'm not going to use the word gutting anymore, but it slipped out of my mouth twice today. Um, I had a lovely lady comment and say, what about extracting? And I have been quite good saying extracting, but um, unfortunately, that horrible word has escaped my mouth yet again. I don't like that word. I don't know what it is about it. It reminds me of pumpkins. I've never done one of those ever. Not... I've never done a pumpkin in my life. You've never done a pumpkin? No. When you, you know, you have to clean the insides Never out and they, yeah. they use that term. No, that's too um, much that's what I work. always think about when I hear that, that word. Really? Yeah. Mm, well, I've, I've never done it, Becky. It's just not me. Oh, maybe this, um, this Halloween, rather than the paper craft, we should be doing pumpkin craft. Yeah, well, yeah. Do some carving. But, well, mm, mm, mm. You don't seem convinced, do you? Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. No. No. No, no, it's not for me. I'll leave it to me. My youngest daughter does it with her kiddies, but yeah. um, and if anybody comes at me for not doing it for my kids, I'm younger because hey, I never did it. So as a, as a child, I don't remember it being a thing. No, it wasn't. All. That's the thing. No. When my kids were little, it wasn't a thing. Oh. Um, so, but I know it's I know it's a massive part for some people's, um, you know, in their lives. But for me, it was never a thing. So I, I never did it. But that look beautiful on back. Oh, do you know what? I just want to leave it like that on back. Mm. It's such a beautiful, beautiful scene. But I'm just going to stick these down because I did say that's the part you could be doing. But while I've said it, I might as well do it myself. And then what we'll do is we'll take a slight pause because we've got a bit of inking and die cutting to do. Um, but we're well on track. This is something that you're going to easily be able to complete in these two hours. I feel really, I feel like I'm being spoiled today. Two hours for a craft, because we did a pre-record this morning, Becky. We did. We only had an hour. Yeah. We only had and an hour. And you zoomed, did you? I did, yeah. You I did, got there. You zoomed. I just about got there, didn't I? Well, in fact, I no, did No, you get absolutely there. got there. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, just again, choices. Which side do you want to use when it comes to that? Now, don't forget your turrets are going to be here. So I really don't think it really matters, to be fair, whether that moon's in. And to be honest, I'm going to be adding the moon into there. So I think I'm going to use that side. Um, so I'm going to pop mine down over the top, a bit of glue over there again. We've got a couple of people crafting along, actually. Oh, um, Elizabeth says she's crafting along. And Cindy says um, she's crafting along, but she's using a different collection today, using the Enchanted Ocean. <gasps> Cindy, please share. Mm. Please share and tag. I'd love to see that. I still haven't yet played with mine. Have you not? No. Well, you've got, like I say, you've got a couple of weeks at home. Yes, I'm going to be working to... on some May projects. I'm doing a couple of craft alongs. Craft alongs, I keep calling them craft alongs. Crafting from my room. <laughs> <laughs> They're not craft alongs. No, you're more than welcome to join. It's a little bit like a um, craft along extension, <laughs> shall we say. How long uh, do they go on for? 
days? Well, they may go on for like two or three hours, but the, I mean, it's usually around the three. I've once gone to four. Usually around three hours? Yeah, because I get Goodness. talking and chatting and I can't, you can't stop me then. Does someone come in and give you regular, you no? Know, cups of coffee there's nobody there oh, to do Debbie. that there's nobody there to do that for me. my liam are you kidding producer producer nicola my liam no he is a sweet boy i love him to bits but oh he might fetch me a pop-up now and again but when i'm on my live and i tell him i almost feel like i should have a flashing beacon don't yeah. come in don't come in i'm on live um but so he doesn't so um but no it it it, it does when i'm at home and he said mom do you want to talk fetching and i'll say oh i'll have a I asked for a coffee and it's like, no, you can do it yourself. I asked for a pop, it's fine, or a water, <laughs> it's fine. But anything that involves switching a kettle on and mixing a bit of coffee in granules into yeah. some hot water, no. Um, but uh, yes, he, he is a good lad, he's, oh. he's a good boy. But no, there's nobody there to wait on me like the princess that I am. Yeah. And I, I really would love a prince to come in and sweep me off my feet and then just, <laughs> just look after me. Or just a butler uh, to come in with regular drinks, <laughs> to yes. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so please do share Cindy, I've gone off topic again, yeah. share with us um, and tag us in there so we can have a little look at what you've been doing if you're doing this craft along with your um, enchanted mm. ocean because I think it'll be fabulous. Mm. Definitely. Um, we do have one question before we go for a break. Yes. Um, from Alexandra. Um, want, it's a fairly basic question. She wants to know how you clean the self-healing mat. I've got a few bits that seem to have attached themselves to it and I'd like to clean it. A self-healing mat? Yeah, so we have that little self-healing mat with a little... You um, stick away, will be fine. Stick, if away. stick away. Is, oh, stick away is like a godsend. Right. It takes off every single bit of gubbin, whether it's on the floor, the kitchen side, your craft room, your craft desk, your mats. It'll, it'll clear everything. Spray it on, leave it for roughly around 30 seconds. I always tend to leave mine for about a minute and then it'll wipe away. Oh, and that right. should work because a self-healing mat, once you've cut into it, closes back up. It's got yeah. some kind of, honestly, it's like some kind of technology yeah. that phases me every time I think, how does it do it? I actually saw it do it the other day because I did it really slowly on air and I went down and I was like, boop. I was like, where's that gone? Yeah. Like that healing powers that you see on superhero movies and I'm like, <laughs> Pain, eh? that's really good but yeah if it's got little bits in there get your stick away it's the blue can it's the blue can <laughs> that says stick away and that will clear every single bit of dirt grime glue whatever it is that you've put down on there the only thing i have yet to find it move is like really tough things like glitter paste uh, glitter paste wipe away the minute it's gone you know you've got it on you yeah. get rid of it that way uh, but it's an absolutely fantastic thing we use tins of it when we were in store because you know you put those sticky things down on floors and windows oh yeah and you peel them off and they leave bits behind <laughs> yeah. Stick away, got rid of every single bit of residue gone. Fantastic. So use that one. Le Excellent. Thank you very much for that. And again, if you do have any questions, do feel free to message in. We are going to go for a quick break to give you the opportunity to catch up. We will see you in a couple of moments. It differs slightly depending how lively I'm feeling first thing in the morning. Sometimes I head to the gym. More often than not, I don't head to the gym and I go on the school run. After the school run, I'm normally in here getting by about 10 o'clock, chatting with the producer, whoever that might be on the day. So I've started going home a little bit more now, actually, in between shows. I only live about five minutes up the road, so it's nice to take a bit of a break. Um, go and make a nice cheese sarnie. Yeah. <laughs> cheese sarnie. I love a cheese sandwich. Going home. I can't say the end of the day. You might want to keep this in. I can't say the end of the day, can I? The best part of the day, starting off and finding out what kind of a day it's going to be. Oh, night owl now. Never shower. <laughs> He's so dirty. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a really good question again. I'm a bath man. I love a bath. Coffee in the morning, tea in the evening. No breakfast. I don't really have breakfast. I tend to sort of eat my first meal around lunchtime. Craft along. 
my waistcoats, my range of waistcoats, because you've always got to have plenty of waistcoats ready for the day. Is help the guys up. I know you're looking at me saying you don't do that. I do. I'm not one of those presenters that comes in, you know, doesn't help the backstage crew. I'm always helping out. You just ask anybody else. I like to get chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area's nice and tidy either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower and tea. Oh, same breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently. It is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are in the middle of a craft along, all using the Arabian Nights showstopper, which you can just see over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tommy says, those papers are magical. Those papers are absolutely beautiful, really, really lovely. Um, Hilary says, I'm watching and I might recreate this and send it to my best friend to cheer her up. That Aww. sounds nice. And then Teresa says, I'm thinking I'm going to print out Aladdin and Jasmine flying on the magic carpet and put it on the inside fold. It seems to fit this one. I honestly I would just seriously, yeah, seriously love like that. that. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Definitely. My, actually, when we get home, can we watch Aladdin? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. I've got a bit of work to do, but I don't mind having that on in the background because I yeah. love that film. Are you working tonight? I have. I've got uh, to do some more I work. I should be working tonight. But I know. I've got, we've got another pre-recorded morning. Have we? <laughs> yeah, did you not that? know? <laughs> Please turn up, Becky. <laughs> I was up early this morning. Don't worry about it. Um, and Stephanie asks, um, is Stickaway available in the US? Right, so the problem that we have with our... So anything that's an aerosol, we can't fly. It can't go anywhere. It has to stay here in the UK on, on the mainland. So um, we can't fly it anywhere. So there are some times when HSN has a stock of it. So right. I think it's HSN. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is, is if we've got some of our American viewers, because, you know, who's watching right now who, as an alternative, because that's all I'm thinking, there might be an alternative. You've got your great big craft stores over there. There might yep. be an uh, alternative spray. But I do know that you can get it now and again, I will say. Not, it's not a regular thing that you can yeah. get because we can't personally ship it out. So from here to you guys in the stateside or anywhere overseas, we can't ship it out because of the uh, aerosol um, and the laws on that. So we can't do that. But just check. But there might be somebody in the comments right now that thinks, ooh, I know we can get something. Yeah. Or I know we can get it. Um, then let us know. And Oh, sorry, let us know. Um, let the comments know. And who's on the social media Super Saturday? Um, it's Becky. Is it oh, Becky? Mm. Oh, hello, Becky. Hello. I thought, yeah, was it not Susie? I thought it was Susie T. I don't know what's going on for me today. Uh, Susie yeah, T Becky. would know for definite. Yeah, Susie T would know. Uh, but yeah, Susie just, check, just check and, and let the, the guys in the comments know. Fantastic. And like you say, those enormous um, craft stores I have in the US, when I went to Houston and I went into a hobby lobby, I couldn't see the walls on either side. It was enormous. I've never seen a place that big. It's like an aircraft hangar. 
full of crafty stuff. Wow. Yeah. I could have spent all day in there. My friend was like, mm, after an hour, she's like, we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't buy any more ribbon, but you can. Right, we should go back to the craft along. Um, so hopefully everyone's caught up. If you have got stuck or you need us to go over a me measurement, please message in and we will do our best to help you. Absolutely. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll cut out the middle sides. We'll get the die cutting elements cut out. Um, so I'm going to use this fabulous, and it really is fabulous, the, um, uh, the decorated window. And it comes in um, four pieces, this die, so it means you can cut out like a full panel piece. Um, and you can also cut out like the centre of the window, or you could cut the window out itself. It's a really lovely, um, a lovely die. And it's got, of course, that lovely Moroccan feel to it. So the only one that I need for this is the middle one because we're cutting into the cardstock. Now, when you are using this, and I'm just pushing those to one side because we are going to be using it again couple of times to create the inner win windows and um, what we're going to do is I want you to think about your card in fact if I took my flaps underneath just for a second uh, put that in so that you can centralize it little top tip do you know the top of the turret is that how you say it turret no turret turret <laughs> turrets is what my daughter has <laughs> <laughs> she does have turrets yeah <laughs> hilarious thank you <laughs> i can never say it's my yorkshire accent can i just say uh, but the turret 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 how does sarah say it i'd love to see how sarah says it <laughs> um it's just put the point up to the fold and then you can of course and but we are going to be cutting out it fully so i'm just going to put it onto there and there and then bringing in I want this piece the cutting in piece so I'm going to put that point and again the point sits on top of that fold so it makes it really super easy to achieve this and that'll create that lovely window look with the aperture in the center so <coughs> excuse me pop that down and that down and so we've got that into place and then bring your flaps back because the last thing you want to do is be cutting through those yeah, uh, because they're the panels that are going to attach to the inside of the card oh sorry becky um let's pop the hats into there <laughs> it's really decorative so sorry just nicola please don't say things like that to me in the middle of a demo <laughs> Right, so we're going to put this in with uh, the combination plastic shim, magnetic shim, the other cutting plate. Becky, are you okay over there? Uh, yeah. Because we have found... We, found, we, we found what the um, alternative um, <laughs> for um, stick away, and it's called Gugon, which we think is hilarious. Love that. So that is something you can buy in the US. But um, thank you yes, very, so much thank you very much for sharing that so info. That was Teresa. Yeah, that's lovely, Teresa, because um, it's really nice um, for you to share that information for those people that do want to find uh, an alternative thing. to it. Just ignore our childish behaviour. I, <laughs> I don't know why we were giggling at it, but uh, we just sounded oh, funny. hilarious. Sounded funny. I knew you were going to say that. I, I love a funny name. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I am more likely to buy something if it's got a funny name. I definitely <laughs> agree with you. It makes me giggle. Mm. Of course, we've got to have a giggle in life, haven't we? We've got to have a giggle. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. It's that, honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful, beautiful dye. Um, and perfect for, you know, your boxes, your light-up boxes. <sighs> add some acetate, add some vellum. Oh, it's just seriously, just seriously lovely. And then the waist as well. You've got all those lovely pieces. If you, were, if, you had, if you wanted to do a bit of paper piecing, I'm not suggesting that you're going to do any paper piecing, but you've got all of those fabulous pieces. Again, shaker elements in there. When you look at them, there's lots of lovely features that you could take and use um, in your card. Um, I'm just giving that a quick clean because we are going to be running this through again. But that's the middle. Debbie, keep that there. That's the middle. The only thing we need to do is put our score lines back in because it's been through the machine. So you want them nice and crisp and burnished and that includes these as well. Turn it the right way around, Debbie. And then the same on the other side. So that flap bringing it in on itself to make sure that you've got a really nice burnish to make that nice and easy to sit in the center. So I'm gonna pop that there. And then we're gonna come in now and we're gonna cut two of the full frame. And again, you want some black matte cardstock, or you could if you wanted, choose one of the colours from the linen. Yeah. It's up to you. It's your project. 
Um, and then all I'm going to do now is bring in. Now, the only difference here is I don't need the cut out window. I'm going to cut that out in a minute for two pieces that we're going to stamp into in white. So okay. I'm going to keep that solid. And I'm just going to make sure that's lined up. That's perfect. And run that through the die cutting machine. Just get that a nice bit put down there. And then back onto the plate it goes. Turn your plate over. Bit of, bit of housekeeping with your plates. Pop that on and run that through. Ooh, now then, can I get that through there? Yeah, you can. I'm just checking. Because normally I put them in. I'm so, we've been so used and so trained to putting everything sideways. Yeah. <laughs> that it almost feels weird putting it in yeah. that way because you think, no, it's not going to take it through. But of course it does. It's the Gemini. It's got the full sensor on there. Of course it's going to do that now, Debbie. Um, but yes, so pop that there, take that out. And what we'll do is, is we will peel that back. And we want another one for the other side as well. So I'm just going to get my pokey tool. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I clean that again. I mean, look at all these shaker elements, Becky. There's loads there. Even from the launch earlier, mm. I've got a right tub going off down yeah. here now for some shaker bits. Um, but then again, I'm just going to come in. What have I done with my scissors? Oh, there they are. I think we'll get the other one. Yes, we will. Out of that piece. I love how frugal you are with your card. Oh my god, honestly. It's because I use it. Do you like this bit will be a nice bit for a sentiment? Mm. And I think we've got a couple of well, I've got a, we have got a sentiment, so yeah, that'll come in handy. So yeah, just I, I and even though it is Tracy's card stock, I always say Tracy because I feel like she's in charge of it all. Mm. Well she is actually. Mm. She is in charge of it all. I'm not I'm not telling Fibs there, she is in charge of it all. Um but I do like to make sure that um Joking aside, I know I've been joking that I've been pinching a cardstock, but I am quite frugal with the stuff. I don't yeah. just slap it in the middle and then throw loads in bin. And no, I like to make sure I get every last little ounce out of it that I possibly can. And then, because it makes it go further. And as a crafter, that's what we want to do. We want to be frugal with our um, with our things, don't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. So again, I'm just going to come in, take that off. And I mean, all that intricacy as well, Becky, in one pass of the machine. Look how fabulous that cuts out. I'm just going to just trim that down because that's the bit that I'm going to keep. And pop that. And again, just peel that back. I think oh, that's so nearly beautiful. all of those. Very pretty. You want my lovely? It's so, so, so beautiful. It's really pretty. I like, I like everything about this. It's a gorgeous, mm. gorgeous collection. Um, and I genuinely, this die especially, I think, I think Debbie said it was one of her favourite dies. Mm. She fell in love with that one. Um, I think that's all of the pieces. So we've got now two panels of the windows that are going to sit either side. And we've got the centre one. And you've also got your inner part of the card that's going to go on the inside. And you've got your two panels as well, just onto the outer side. So I think what we'll do, while we've just got the die cutting going for just a second... We'll just take that small window, because that's then the window finished with, and we can pack that away. But we need two pieces of this cut out into white. Now, it's a straightforward die. You can cut two pieces um, in a pass. So I'm going to just double layer that cardstock up. Let's put that there for a second. And we'll run that through. I'm going to hold that down again with a little bit of tape and then run that through the machine to cut out those two pieces ready to stamp on and they'll sit on the inside of the is that, word? that shape turret turret shape um i promise do you know what Let's, last week oh they're the end this week i got told off by my kids because i pronounced a type of coffee um, like I, I I was a northerner and they said you've been you've been coming going up to the north of England too often so I I, I, I said um, I talked about latte art and they were like latte art 
Do you mean latte art? See, I call it a latte. Do you call it a... I do, yeah, even though I'm from Barnsley. And I, and I always get funny looks when I go, because obviously I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah. We're very thick, broad Yorkshire yeah. accents. And when I say, and I always say a latte, and they look at me as though I've got two heads, because it's a latte <laughs> over there. And I'm like, no, it's a latte. It's a, well, it's, it's... obviously, I've picked up and you've picked up me. I've picked up you, so, you've picked up me. Yeah, but I call it a, um, I, I call it a latte. Oh. Um, I, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I said bath once. and Because um, I'm, I'm one of those people that tends to mimic people un unconsciously. If I'm with people for a long time that have say a word a particular way, I'll end up doing it. I do it sort of naturally. And I said bath at home, and they were like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're yeah, going out on the grass, to bath. down the path. I went, I went, to, visit, I went to visit bath. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, do you mean bath? I was and like, okay, no, bath. bath. Isn't it bath, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and you'll hear it. And sometimes I say words, and you, I always look, it makes me laugh at the, the Google translation when we're on Facebook, because it can't always pick up my yeah. words, or it picks up some of my words and turns them into something else. Yeah. Uh, just because of how I pronounce, mm -hmm. but I love accents. Oh, I, me too. I was always, and I always said, because I remember when we first joined the team, and I, when I first joined Crafters Companion, my niece, who lives in Australia now, said to me, oh, I'll see you on telly next, and I went, oh, <laughs> as if they're going to have me on the telly <laughs> with this accent, and that's what she said to me. And I was like, when I said, when they are, I had the opportunity, I went, are you sure you want me with my accent? And I always remember my first, um, do you know the screen test? Yeah. I talked for really posh. Did you? And when I finished... Had you your telephone voice on? I did, did the you? telephone voice. And when I finished, they went, absolutely brilliant. However, what happened to your voice? <laughs> because I thought I had to speak a certain way. And uh, you don't have to. Accents are to be embraced wherever absolutely. you are in the world, wherever you live in the UK, the States, the, or wherever it is that you live, an accent should be embraced. Mm. And um, I love accents. I could listen to accents all day long. I think it's really interesting how there's certain words like treat... You say tret. 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 And, 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 no, so, and that's really interesting how you've got these different kind of ways, different words that mean the same thing. And we often talk about bread, don't we? Yeah. So I call it a bread bap. But baps aren't what people call bread rolls up here. Um, but, so a breaded bun, which is a bun for me is something that is sweet. It's not um, bread. Um, and it's a bread cake to me. It's a bread cake. So, yeah, this goes... <laughs> so it's very confusing, if you, you know... Let's, let's just be honest, we speak a different language throughout the whole of the UK, don't we? And I, I know, it, and I don't speak any Welsh, apart from the, I can sing the Welsh National Anthem. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, I can do the, the big name. Clamver, Perth, Gwyn, Gith, Gol, Gareth, Swithin, Dorby, Clanta, Celia, Go, Go, Go. Yeah. That's impressive. I know. I mean, you could have just spoke anything then yeah. to me because I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have had a clue. I'm sure Frankly, someone really who's Welsh impressive. will go, oh my God, that was terrible. But it's been a long time since I've been at Welsh school. I'm, um, really, yeah. I'm really interested to see the playback on the Google Translate <laughs> yes. on, the, on the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and what does Maybe it say? Maybe pick it up and it'll be perfect. Have we not quite got there? Um, uh, <laughs> um, Lynn says, um, can you say Carol and Carl? Carol and Carl. Carl? Yeah. Carl, as in Carl, Carl, the boy's name, Carl? Yeah. Carl? Yeah. Craig says them exactly the same way. Carl and Carol? Yeah. They're not the same. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> says them exactly the same way. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> I could, do you know me, I could listen to Craig every me day too. of the week and I'm going his every word because I love the accent. Mm -hmm. I love a Scottish accent. I really do. I'd like him to read a bedtime story. <laughs> you know how, you know, all the celebrities read, read bedtime stories, like Tom Hardy did a bedtime story. I could listen to Craig saying a bedtime story because I do I like the accent. It's very nice. I, I do like an accent. <laughs> um, we've, as I've said before, if you've got any questions for Debbie while we are um, letting everyone catch up, do message in. Um, we've got, um, you know, lots of th things to show you on these demos with the Arabian Nights and it is a really beautiful collection let us know if you've already got your Arabian Nights collection if you're crafting along with it um, or and maybe it's, you know if you let us know what you've been making with it that will always be nice to see um, beautiful collection that you've got here so it's definitely worth popping your basket if you haven't already got it right uh, welcome back everybody if you're just you're just joining us um, Stephanie says um, Craig thinks he's saying them differently, Carl and Carl, or Carol and Carl, but he does sound, they do sound very much the same. Um, maybe we should just ask that for everybody, how they, 
I'll ask, I'll ask Sarah on Saturday, oh, Friday, how she says tomorrow. Carl and Carol. Oh, no, it's not tomorrow. It's, oh, my God. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm getting, so it's, no, it's, it's hump day, isn't it, yeah. today? Yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting. I, I keep forgetting where we I are. I don't think I've ever been up here on a Wednesday before, so it's I'm really not. confusing for me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you go. Um, shall we carry on? Yes. Again? Yeah. So, at this stage, if uh, those who are just joining us, um, in that first hour, we constructed our card base, which is a 9 by 6 card base. We've popped our mats and layers on. Um, we've got the um, back part on there as well. And if you want to leave that back part as it is without doing any extra, you absolutely can. It's fine. Um, or if you just want to put a white panel in there so you've got somewhere to write, again, that's absolutely fine. Um, you've got your inner panel being made. I think we've got quite a lot done in that first yeah, hour. Yeah, I think so. Um, we've got two die-cut pieces. So let me just move those there so you can see them. So you've got two die-cut pieces with the windows that are going to sit in there because we're going to um, put stamps in there. There. You've also got as well um, the inner uh, the inner part of the card, which is going to sit on the inside, and we'll stick that down in a second. And you've also got your two pieces, and I now think I've cut into my panel. <laughs> I've cut into my white panel that sits on the back. <laughs> I did wonder where I got that white piece from. I, um, <laughs> I thought you might have done, and I thought, oh, no, I'm not going to say anything. You should anything. have said, Debbie, are you sure no. that's not your white no. panel? It was my white no. panel. However, I'll rectify it in a second. And that's all the pieces that we've got. And I think what we'll do is we'll stick the inner parts, we'll do the stamp, and then what we'll concentrate on is the front part of the card because we've got, uh, wait a minute, um, turret? No, turret. Turret. turret to do as well. Oh, they're actually um, called something else, aren't they? pieces to cut, including the stamp and a little bit of foiling. So that's what we're going to concentrate on in this last hour. Um, so we're going to do those. We're going to stick all these pieces in now. We're going to get those done. And then we're going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get that off of it. I've got to get that bit off. It's starting to annoy me now. Uh, there on the back. Um, so I need to cut myself another little panel there too. So let me see if I can... Oh, I feel better. Oh. <clears throat> I say I'm not a perfectionist, but I think I am. I think I am indeed. Right, inside panel, I'm going to stick with this beautiful piece. And I have got that the right way around. Yes, you have. You've got all those beautiful... Is there a specialist name for these? I call them the hanging lamps, but I think... I, I feel like they must... Yeah, is it the hanging lanterns that they call them? Yeah. They're beautiful. The hanging lanterns, yeah. They're absolutely beautiful. And I am going to feature that because I love all this beading. That beading is so crystal clear. It feels like you can pick it off the page. I don't know how they do it. Those guys are incredible. But to do that and to get that into there, I need to pop on some all-purpose glue. And I'm going to place that all the way around and give it a good coverage. And all I'm going to do is match the inner part to the um, score line and then fold that over to pick that up now when you do this whenever you put in a panel on the center make sure you push it up to that corner that i said the corner but the score line it needs to be right into the score line if you don't when you um when it's dried you could end up with a little bit that's what curls and gaps so you've got like a hole down there so all you need to do is make sure that you've just pushed it up to as far as it will go now i've got some uh, my nails on here so i can get away with this one but just realized i've slipped it down just a tad so i'm going to slip that back up there we go or you could take your poke uh, not poke tool your scoring tool and just push that in so you've got a really nice crisp clean in both panels and then just on both sides to seal that down and then just to reinforce it again and i did have my larging scoring tool but i don't know what i've done i've not got it out my bag well could have sworn I had that out earlier. Um, I'm just going to pop, again, a really, really nice burnished line on both sides to make that opening transition piece. And you can see there's no holes, there's no gaps. So that's another little top tip whenever you're popping an inner panel in so that you're not getting any gap. And that, that is perfect now. And it, it folds perfectly, it opens perfectly. Uh, but what we need to do is pop these in as well. But first of all, I'm going to give that time to dry. So I'm going to bring in those two white pieces. Did we have a stamping platform on the um, <clears throat> on the menu? Um, I don't, I don't recall seeing, seeing, seeing one. That's the thing. I don't recall seeing one. Oopsie daisy, my bad. I do apologise. But you probably have got a stamping platform. I'm ever so sorry. I completely forgot. 
That's and it. I didn't we'll forget forgive Debbie. Well. Will you forgive me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to change it up though. I stamped with um, a black ink pad, but do you know for the, I think I'm going to use this um, shimmer ink pad to stamp your sentiment with. I think we could get away with that one. And I'm going to use the sentiments in this, which is the joyous occasions. Now I used, um, which just, and if I just bring in my card again, just to show you, I did use um, joyous occasion on one side and wishing you every happiness, which just squeezed in and I mean just squeezed in now if you felt uncomfortable what you could have done is stamp this first and then die cut around it uh, but I think I'm gonna be okay and do you know if it doesn't work it's okay it's not the end of the world it really isn't so I'm gonna pop that onto there and I've got my rocker block I'm gonna make sure that's nice and as straight as it can be and I'm gonna take my shimmer ink pad now whenever you're using a shimmer ink pad it's a juicy ink pad it might be small it's juicy it's got lots of lovely shimmer to it as well um, so I'm just going to tap on lightly and I'm not sinking it in because it's a sponge whenever we've got like an, um, an opaque pigment or a shimmer it's got a bouncy sponge in there because um, it holds all of that but you don't what you don't want to do is wet it completely through um, that you are ending up with um, and I'm just going to just place that place that in the center roughly and then Heel to toe motion and lift. And you've got that lovely stamped nice. thing. Now you can at this stage add some clear overlay powder. No, wait yep. a minute. Clear embossing powder over the top and heat set that. But I'm wanting that shimmer. So I've used that one. I'm just going to give this a little wipe. So let me bring in my me, um, me dirty rag. Get cleaning that up. And then take in the other one. And I think I'm going to go with because again when you look at the size of this some of these won't so they've got seed the seed of the spirit of positivity uh, live more worry less hope joy and faith celebrate a special day but that's going on the front of my card um what did i use let's have a quick peek wishing you every happiness there it is just thinking then where's that other sentiment gone and then i'm going to just place that into the middle and i'm going to use that so can you see on your rocker blocks you've got like a line I line it up for my stamps to put my stamps on uh, to give it so I make sure that it's not on there a bit skew with or a bit you know it's gone wonky or anything like that and again light taps it's gorgeous that blow I'm glad I've used that now so I'm just going to bring that down again and I'm going to put the turret have I said it right yeah yes. on the uh, can you see this point to help me position it so I'm using my mat as a little positioning point as well and then can you see you've got like a line too so you know that when you're going on with your rocker block and I'm just going to make that squeeze in <laughs> probably be a bit of a squeeze but yay it perfect. works perfectly and uh, so that's your two stamped images and then you can stick those in to now bearing in mind they will be still wet this is a juicy ink pad um, so I'm just going to give it a quick blast because the last thing I wanted to do is smudge so I'm just going to give it a quick um, quick set with the heat tool the same with this one because it happens whether you've got a juicy ink pad that doesn't dry straight away mm -hmm. um, you, you can get some smudges so just bear that in mind I'm going to use my tacky glue for this because I have got um, <laughs> I stamped her some, some Chura Pearl by mistake uh, but it doesn't matter uh, but I'm going to use tacky glue because tacky glue is the best one for a, for a coated cardstock Yeah, I'm such a numpty. I did use it, didn't I? Ah, oh, I've got to redo it again. What do you like, Debbie? What do you like? Um, that's the first one in. Bring the second one in. And again, I'm just going to bring in a little bit of uh, tacky glue that's decanted into my fine tip applicator bottle. It means you can get into all those little nooks and crannies. And then again, Yes, it is producing Nick. She just said to me, is the, is the um, tacky glue good for the Centura Pearl? Yes, it's a coated cardstock, so it means you get a better adhesion to, uh, to it. So I, I forget what, what adhesives go with what, and I'm sure everyone else does. There's glue schools across the tu uh, YouTube. But yeah? I think it'd be a lot easier if Ben just did a song. What a great idea, Becky. If we, we had need a to put little, that forward We had to a little him. ditty to sing when yes. we, we want to use glue that would be and make life a lot easier then you could yeah. always remember it's like you know when you um you know when you're trying to remember 
I don't know. The that is a brilliant idea, well, it, Becky. Like, um, I love there's that. There's a poem about um, Henry VIII's wives, which, which order they go into, because you could never quite remember, could you, when you were a child? Or the I've poem never, about I've different never... types of bears. I've never heard. Does any does anyone know the poem about bears? No, because do you know this what I thought she said? The poem about Ben's. I was like, Ben's? Ben? Yeah. ben? <laughs> Why is there a poem about Ben? <laughs> now I understand. Bears, she said bears. bears. Uh, right, <coughs> that has now dried the inside panel. So nice. what we're going to do is we're going to stick this down. So when you're looking at this, now I can give you a little bit of uh, uh, using your mats, but I'm going to come down here. But I'll just, I'll tell you how I did this. So I put my card right base down into this corner. I'm so sorry, I'll try and raise it up so you can see it. But can we just drop the L for a second? Is that okay? Or do we have to, can we just get rid of it? Thank you very much. Thank you. So the glass mat can give you an indication on where to put this. So if you take it up to the very edge and pop it on the edge of your car, uh, on the edge of your mat, I want to put that in at four inches, the glue. So I'm going to pop it onto there and it gives me a little, so it'll be 14 at the top, four at the bottom. If you go upwards and downwards, you can see that's how yep. you can put that on. So I'm going to put a little bit of, again, I'm going to give myself a bit of a break, a bit of a time to get the wiggle into place and get it into position. If you use red liner tape and everything else, Becky, yeah. you know what can happen. Yeah. It's instant. It's a bit unfe and, uh, unforgiving, oh, isn't it? It's, do you know, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, so I'm going to line that up. I'm going to put my glass mat down and I'm going to put that down onto that four. So I know that that now, I'm flush at the bottom, flush at the top, hold that into place and let that set. And the same applies when I come to this side. So this side would be basically four from inwards. So again, if we go to number 10, and then I want to put it onto the number six line. So if I just bring that in, you'll see now. Oh, wait a minute, is it six? It's seven. Wait a minute. I just I've got my measurements right. Yeah, it was four. Because I put myself. Oh, 14, Debbie. You put your ten, 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 seriously, sometimes I do wonder about myself. Um, <laughs> because you can lay this really flat. So you can push that right down. So if I do it that way, you might be able to see it better. And I'm going to put that now onto the position of 14. So my glue, I'm going to put my glue back on there. I want it to be even, Becky. So it's finding the, the tricks that will make it even yeah. for yourself. So if I push that up now, that inner centre, yeah. and then I'm looking at my 14 line, which is 14 on the bottom, four on the top. It's, it's like a reverse. Yeah. So I'm making sure this is on the edge. And these are just little tips that we can give you to get a perfect position where you're going to put this so that when this folds together, it folds together really, and you've got a really nice even. Mm -hmm. So. It, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Because I think, uh, I'm sure I saw somebody um, on social media asking about a card like this and couldn't quite work out how to put it together. So that's a really cool And you can see it. how it, it lines up. So I know it's difficult with it being black cardstock. If I just tilt that, yeah. you can see that it lines up really yep. nice and evenly. Um, and it means that you're not having to put another score line or reinforce a score line. Because mm -hmm. you don't need to. You've done all that. Yeah. It's just... But, but, and it's, these t this is a tool. This glass mat is not just something to literally just sit your card making on. It's a tool to use for all sorts of things. And then the other thing we're going to do then, Becky, is we're going to pop... Um, these panels on the inside as well. So I'm going to come in and uh, pop my panels on. Oh, of course you can. So sorry, guys, you can put that back on. I, d I do apologise. I meant to say yes, of course you can put that back on. Um, I've got a few questions here. Okay. So Stephanie wants to know, um, did you say earlier you were doing a live? If yes. so, when? Yes. Um, I, I'm thinking I need to get home first and get myself sorted. But I'm thinking either I might do a Sunday because I do love my Sunday night lives. I've, I, that's the day that I usually chose. But I used to do it after Crafters TV, but I don't have to do it so late now because yeah. we don't go live anymore at the weekend. So I could do it a little bit earlier. I will post it. But I just want to make sure when I get home that I haven't committed myself to anything else first. Um, and I've got a memory like a sieve. So it's either going to be on Sunday or it'll be Monday or... Wait a minute, when have I got kids? Beginning of the week. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm just... Because I've got them Friday, but I've got them next week as well. Because when I'm not here and... Um, and I'm not a hobby maker, I'm on nanan duty so that my daughter can go to work. Although, good news, uh, my... 
I call him my son-in-law, but he's not technically my son-in-law because they're not married, but he passed. Um, he's, he's now a fireman. Oh, and wow. his passing out is on Friday, so he, he's, he, he's done it. Well, so brilliant. a lifelong ambition, I say lifelong, he's 25, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's a family tradition. Yeah. So his dad and his granddad were firemen oh. and he wanted to get in and he had many a knockback. And let me tell you, he must have been knocked back about 12 times. Really? And he never gave up and he's got in. Getting emotional. <laughs> he got in, and he got in, and he's worked really hard, and he's um, done it, and he's 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 passed, he's passed out. Brilliant. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Just goes to show, never give up. Back. Yeah. When you get knocked down, you get back up, and you start again. Well, there was something about um, famous actors in um, in Hollywood, and they have to go on average to sixty-seven auditions before they get their first job wow and that really goes to show how you know how you have to keep on going to get your dream so you know obviously there are some people who just get you know things straight away but for the majority of people you know it is can you imagine 67 auditions with people saying no 67 times when people have said actually you're not right yeah uh, that's it. I, I, I would have given up at I don't know, 30 <laughs> at the most. <laughs> but it's that perseverance, yeah, isn't it? And it's that, um, That's that, brilliant that news. spirit. Well done. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So looking after the kids on Friday. So it'll either be Sunday, you answer the question. It'll either be Sunday or it'll be at the beginning of the week. Uh, right, so I've got my panels. I've got my inner panels. And, and when you look at this, I've turned them so that I've got this lovely design running through both. Again, it's a little bit symmetrical. Mm -hmm. It looks really lovely when you pop that on. And then I'm going to put wishing you every happiness and I'm going to position it roughly about the halfway mark. And I say roughly because that wasn't roughly. That was a guess going to pick it up by eye that's fine steal that down oh glue 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 you're all over the place i'll wait till that's dried and i'm going to get that off and then the same on the other side so that you've got now i'm just going to do that by eye perfect so that's your inner part done got the front part done we've got the back to do so we're going to cut we're going to <laughs> we're going to do the turrets turrets thank you very much yes just thought i'd check uh, that i said it right uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're good to go for that little piece next, which is when we're going to bring in one of my favourite parts. Magical window scenes. That's your next piece, OK? I'm going to clear up my glue because it's going to irritate me. So I need to get rid of that glue. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Becky, I've been there. I know what that's like. Do you know what? Sometimes you, you just have that little tickling in your throat. You think, oh, no, I'm going to be OK. Suddenly that tickle goes like this. <laughs> it makes you not be able to stop coughing. So I do apologise. I think it's hay fever. Um, yeah, so you I were get, saying, weren't you? I yeah. get it as soon as the um, blossom comes out on the trees. Yeah. Disgusting. Horrible. Bless thing. you. Um, right. Well, while we're letting everyone else catch up, I wanted to show you this pack of um, six by six um, paper pads. Um, we've got, we had to look at these. And I talked about them and I didn't look at the price. But while I'm showing you, you look at the price because this is crazy. Um, so these are six by six paper pads. This first one is your floral bouquet. Um, they, we've got 30 of these left, um, so they've been very popular. These are pearlescent ones here. Um, I'm going to flick through a couple of these pages because they're difficult to show in a six by six. They don't flick through very nicely. Um, but you've got, as always, a very detailed, very ornate page. And then on the rear of it, it's a more muted um, design. So that is your first one. Beautiful pinks and blues that you've got in this collection. Here. This next one is your Neon Dreams, which I just, it's just Debbie. It's Debbie in a paper pad. Um, beautiful colours. Once again, you've got um, pearlescent um, paper pad, well, it's not paper, it's card. Um, they are so beautiful. So many different patterns that you can see in here. And as always, the 6x6 paper pads are a smaller version of the 12x12. 12 12. So not just a, a section taken out of the 12x12, 12 12, they actually are different sized images on there. This next one is your a fabulous fuchsia, which came with stamens. When, if you, yeah, everyone knows I like the stamen. Did I get to take the stamens home? No, I didn't get to take the stamens home. She did sort. Tracy got... did sort of give them to me as a present, but I felt a bit guilty about taking them home. But I did, I did love them. Um, so I ordered some myself, and I got some black ones as well. Which was really nice. But again, beautiful. You can see you've got that very sort of detailed pattern um, on this side, and then on the rear. Um, it's more muted, um, but lovely colours again. You've got lots of yellow ochres in here, lots of deep purples, um, bright fuchsias, obviously, um, and beautiful greens as well. A lovely olive green in here. So that is your fabulous fuchsia. 
Um, the next one is a fabulous fuchsia. This is a flower making pad. Um, so I'm not going to flick through, but basically you're going to be getting papers in all of these colours to enable you to use the dyes that came with that collection. Um, then we have your cosmic. Cosmic? It was just called cosmic. Cosmic. I was thinking it was Cosmic Shimmer, and I was like, that's not right. Um, so you can see here, look at these. They are just stunning, um, beautiful designs. And um, once again, you have, um, actually, they're, they're pretty much very, very similar, actually, on the, the front and the rear. Um, again, this is a pearlescent paper pad, um, Picard pad, rather. So it's thick, um, great for little construction projects, but beautiful colours in here. Look at that one. That is absolutely lovely. So that is your Cosmic. And then finally, we have your um, Hydrangea. This is from the um, Nature's Garden. I'm going to take it out of that little container because it doesn't work anymore. Um, but again, beautiful um, patterns in here. I love a Hydrangea. I think they are absolutely glorious in the blues and the purples, but also in the whites as well. Um, very, very pretty. Lots of stuff with script on it as well. Um, they are really kind of muted tones, but going to work well. Actually, work very well with Craft Card, this um, whole um, little... Um, 12 by, uh, 6 by 6 paper pad, but you can see all of those beautiful designs that you've got in here. And then you look at the price. You think, yeah, 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 they look really nice. Look at the price. Platinum price, £20 or $32 for all of them. So you get all six in there. Um, that is a great bargain. I'm not surprised we don't have that many left because you really do want to make the most of those. I think I prefer the smaller paper pads. Um, sometimes the images are just a bit too big on the, on the 12 by 12. So being able to have these as well at that kind of price, I mean, why wouldn't you? We are going to take a quick break, give you the opportunity to check out your baskets and catch up with the craft along. And we'll see you in a couple of moments. My day-to-day -day life is pretty busy in work. Literally, I get in the door, I check my poles, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready, um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter, um, and it depends what I'm on. I mean, sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side, and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben when we went to work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great or uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. Ah, <gasps> masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. Come in, check my emails, then lay this yours out in the studio, set pack shots up, then I will get new poles, pick shorts, solve any problems that need solving. Um, we deal with other teams where we receive market and suites, we receive boards, we pick samples to send to Hobby Maker, we pick samples to send to QVC. We will take the previous shows out of the studios, set the new shows up. We do floor manage occasionally, not all the time, making sure that the craft expert presenters have everything at hand that they need, anything that they haven't got during shows, we will run about and get the products for them. 
think on a morning when it's really quiet, I can get more done when there's nobody else in the building. Night owl. Morning. Coffee on a morning, tea the rest of the day. Savoury. Normally lunchtime. Craft along. Mobile phone. Christina's chicken raw. Barry White. You're my first, my last, my everything. Go home and make the tea. Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you took advantage of that break to grab a cup of tea and um, check out your baskets and catch up with the craft along because we are speeding away um, in this Arabian Nights craft along which has been uh, absolutely beautiful. There's really, there's so much in um, the craft along that Debbie's put together, so many different aspects to it. I'm really looking forward to what do we do the next. Um, so lots of people are loving what you're doing so far. Sarah Muir says, oh, pretty paper and always a stunning card from Debbie as on the cards. Oh, I did a pun. Um, Eleanor says, I love watching the projects Debbie makes. Um, Jeanette says, we need a song. When I was saying we need a song about glue, um, so we should ask Ben if he can come up with a little song, so I think that'd be quite good. And we've had a couple of um, questions coming in. Um, one was from Stephanie, who asked, um, she missed the beginning of the craft along, um, what size card is this going to be? Nine by six. Nine by six, yeah. lovely. I, I do tend to do cards of different sizes and not feel the restrictions of a standard card make yeah. i like to make different sizes different folds different doesn't have to be categorized into certain cards to fit envelopes and that's the thing where it all stemmed from with sarah yeah which is why i always make different sizes and this one's a a nice nice chunky size i think yeah. a nice size yeah, one. Nice. Yeah. good and the other question was from hillary which is a, basically um, a question to everybody does anyone else get mean with the gorgeous papers i i do and i don't want to use them yes i do Totally. I, do you know, um, that's why I use everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> and why I've got a very unhealthy addiction to paper pads and why I've got a lot that I haven't used. In fact, there's, you know, I'll give a little shout out. It's my, my, one of my oldest, dearest, bestest friends, Linda, who always tried to get me into crafting and I never succumbed until my Auntie Jean hypnotised me into it. <laughs> and then I went to Linda, who I've known for years. We were school together and... Um, she came out of crafting for whatever reason and she's just recently because she's been having a tough time of it at late yeah. but she's now back into crafting and i went to help her and i've said to her and i've promised you linda i'm going to definitely come and see you when i'm back home and i've got loads and lots of goodies for you mm. including some paper pads um so i know she's watching because she's crafting and watching now so mwah, 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 to you and um yeah she's just it's just lovely when people get back into things like this and i'm really fat at, she's fired up again to Good. making the most beautiful things and it's lovely uh, but yes paper pads linda you'll get hooked yeah. do you remember you telling me that story you'll get hooked you probably will because we have do the most amazing paper pads get yourself signed up girl to club inspire get your get your 20 percent off and get some of those gorgeous paper pads because mm. they're absolutely beautiful the quality is second to none it's yeah. absolutely stunning yeah, I think we're all mean with our papers, aren't we? Oh, you know, yeah. None of us want to throw it away. Definitely. Are you ready to carry on? Absolutely. Right, so we're going to do the <laughs> turrets. Turrets. Yes. Yeah, I've nailed it. Um, and we're going to do three of these. So we're going to cut these down to, they're just, when, when you look at these, now I do love these because there's various different sizes. I've just chosen two for mine, um, but there are various different sizes. The largest that you'll go to is 2.6 by 2.3. Um, so I'm going to take this roughly to around a two and a half inch mark. If I want to trim some more off, I will do, but I'm going to cut three of these. In fact, I'm going to cut two a bit smaller. So we're going to do two and a half by two and a half. I'm going to have two at roughly around the four and a half inch mark. And one about, I'll take it to five and a half to start with. I can always trim it back down. Um, because I want three different sizes when it comes to using these. Now, we're going to place these on. Now, I've taken two because I am going to have um, this one on the largest piece in the centre. And then for these two... 
and you might be able to get actually I might be able to get away without cutting that together at the same time but I'm going to run those through my die cutting machine and that's why I trimmed it down to roughly around the two and a half if you want to do it on a larger piece to start with absolutely do that you know there's there's nothing wrong with that but I'm going to turn that that way so I can get this done in one one pass so I'm going to put that on. I'm going to grab some low tack tape. I've thrown all my low tack tape away. I've been reusing and reusing it practically all day. I thought it's time to treat myself to some new new stuff. Let's pop that on there. And that's just to hold it in place. And then the same with this one. So I'm going to put the two pieces. I'm going to come in and pop that down. Just bring that point a bit just underneath that to drop. And then we're going to cut through that piece together. So that should technically now cut through those two pieces as well as that singular one. And I think I'll be able to get away with it without using the magnetic shim. So if I just run that through, because what we're going to do then is we're going to grab the inks and we're going to use some of these silhouette stamps because this comes in two parts, this Becky. I, I will say it's possibly, apart from the skyline, which I tempted myself... I was, I was trying to fit the skyline in, but I yeah. thought, no, you can't. Stop. But I love the skyline and this one at this collection. They're my favourite two pieces, apart from the paper pads. Because the paper pads are divine. They really are divine. Um, but, yeah, we've cut one piece. It's so just... They're called Lambrequin arches. Oh, trust you to know this. Wait a minute. How did you know that? Because I, I looked it up. I, I, knew you know, a... I had a feeling but, that you would have uh, done so a little bit of Google shoe, research there. Horseshoe ones, which are the, the smooth ones that yeah. you've got. And these ones are called Lambrequin arches. Wow. I know. Full of useless information. I'm loving the useless information, mm. Becky. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to trim this one down slightly because where I've placed it, I've lost a bit of the curve. So I want to even it up a bit. So I'm going to come in, put that up to the top and trim that down so that I've kind of evened it off now because I'd lost a bit... I'd lost a bit of the curvy bit. Doesn't right. matter. Um, there's always a way around things. I mean, if you wanted to be, you know, really precise, you could just run that through again. But we've got three pieces. And if I just bring this in for a second, I'm going to decide now, just need to trim a little bit more off the bottom because these are the ones that are going to, and they're all going to sit side by side. So I'm going to bring those two down. So I'm going to just trim a tiny bit off the bottom. Actually, they look really nice already. Before we've even added any ink. So I'm going to come back in. I probably should have took it to about... Instead of five and a half, probably five and a quarter. Yeah. Or maybe five, actually. I'll go to five and a quarter and see what that looks like. Just have a little peek. Another bit. Just one more bit. We'll take that to five. There we go. That's the thing. It's always about having a little, have a little play around with it before. Uh, before you actually start inking and, and stamping onto there. And I'm happy with that now because I think there's just a slight, yeah, little difference, which is what I'm after. Yeah. That, uh, that that differential looks lovely yeah thank you right coming in we're going to take our inks now i am going to use i'm going to st still keep with the three that i used which is golden um lavender and the sunrise all three new colors as well there's no duplications uh what did i do with the finger daubers oh here they are keep moving things around this craft desk you shouldn't t tidy up. That's that's the key. It is key. Yeah, that's absolutely. You're right. It, and I'm going to start with the lightest of the colours, and come down. So we're going to start at the top. So again, very juicy, but the intensity and that lovely shimmer that you get is beautiful. And again, if you want to add things like your clear embossing powders over the top, you absolutely can. However, <laughs> personally, no. Right. I like that shine. And bearing in mind, you're going to be stamping over the top. If you, if you enamel it with a clear embossing powder, you won't be able to stamp very well over the top of right. it. So for me, I, and I love the shimmer. I like it when it's dried and you get that natural shimmer. Mm -hmm. That's what these ink pads are all about. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, and again, I'm going to just leave that there because I might do a little bit more of a changing up there. Now then, I think that looks like, wait a minute, I'm trying to match the right one up here. There it is. I'm going to come in with the orange. <sighs> look at that one. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Honestly, it's stunning. I'm going to drag a little bit up there. 
and you're probably thinking oh it looks a bit blotchy at minute i promise you once you've got them on and they've dried and you've got your stamps over top um, it looks lovely but of course they do blend so you can blend them out a little bit and I'm coming in using to soften that edge that looks quite um, strong there I've just softened it up a little bit and added that one back over the top to create a little bit of an orangey glow mm -hmm. over there as well so again I'm going to come in and add one into this one such a lot on these ink pads there they really are the most juiciest of ink pads And then just pop that in. I thought Jake had fallen off his chair then. Did you hear that chair? <laughs> I thought he'd fell off it. Is it the trolley? I thought it was his chair. I thought, bless him, he's fallen. Just I want to make sure Jake's okay. <laughs> and then again with this one, coming in and just adding that orange to it. And then the last colour we're going to pop on is that lovely um, lavender colour. And again, I'm just going to drag that up. Come back in. You know, I just said soften. that, well, not just, a little while ago, I said the um, Welsh town. Yeah. Do you know what um, the no, sorry, translator has come up with? As well oh, I said. what did it come up with? Yeah. It, um, rather than being Clangver, Perth Wing, Gith, Gorgay, Thwyd and Dlobbyth, Clang to Celia, Go, 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 I've got Perth Wing Discograph written Robbie Plan to see Leo Go, Go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I mean, we'd hilarious. all like to see Leo Go, Go, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is, I love that, that is brilliant. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to find the right, um, right. Do you know the little finger dauber? Because I didn't think there was one for this one. If but, you don't um, have finger daubers, how else would you? You know the ink applicators. Just, but how? But they're tiny little. The round, I'd probably use the round one. Right. Um, you can take it directly on, but you'll get quite a splodgy quite strong when you take the ink pad straight on you wouldn't put it on your mat and then pick it up from oh that. you can you yeah can that if way. you want to do that yeah oh, the right way around Debbie take that on pop it on pick it right. up and good to go I just go directly in because I'm a bit lazy <laughs> now I'm going to carry on because I want to blend that a little bit out and soften it up a little bit more and get that transition between the two and plus I feel like this one of the studio set has been used a little bit more because it feels a little bit drier than the others. Um, so I'm just, but I, again, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. And then let me go in and then soften between the two. And back into that one. So it creates that lovely, and I know it looks quite striking at the minute, but when you've got everything on top of it, it mm. looks really lovely. So let's just finish off with these last two pieces. And I'm just going to, oops, come in. And we are going to get this, actually, I think I'm going to stamp my sentiments. Since I stamped my sentiments on the inside, I think I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the outside as well with okay. um, one of these ink pads. So... I like the fact that you've pretty much used every single thing in this collection, haven't you? On this... I wish one. I could have said yes. I've used quite a bit, but uh, I think there's used a so lot. much. Yeah, there's oh, yeah, such a lot. Oh, yeah, so stencils as well. Yeah. I'll, oh, I'll, more dyes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's such a lovely collection and so much of it to get your teeth into and create lots of different things as well. Um, yeah, there's loads, Becky, in this one. It's a, it's a big collection. It is. Um, and really a standalone like one, isn't it? Because it's, um, it's, it's not a Sarah Sig collection or anything like that. Um, it's a standalone one, so uh, it's a nice size one. I would find it very difficult to cut into any of these papers because they <laughs> are just so beautiful. I oh, know I'm terrible. I, I'm really shocking for making my mind up. Ooh, get me. Um, doing a little bit of a Bugs Fizz quote there. Um, but you yeah, know, rip um, off your skirt then, a <laughs> hella Bugs Fizz. Rip the skirt off. <laughs> right, I'm going to come in and put those two into there because I'm happy with that and I'm going to give it a quick uh, blast with the gun again before I lay down the silhouettes. So let's just um, pop those down onto there. And you get that lovely shimmer finish when these are dry and they really do look beautiful when it, you've got to let it dry you can let it dry naturally uh, because while it's wet you don't get that true shimmer coming through but when it's dry looks stunning so i'm going to quickly just dry these off becky and then we'll do the silhouette stamping i think we're nearly dare i say it we've nearly completed the project oh do you know what we haven't done the foils Oh, I'm <gasps> looking forward to that. So we're going to get the foils in there. Nearly forgot them. 
Debbie, if they, if Leanne said to you, we're going to create an ink pad that's called Debbie's Delight, <clears throat> what colour would it be? <gasps> Can I not ask Debbie that? Could you, could you put, could you put the Neon Dreams in a ink pad? Oh, because honestly, I want that in wallpapers. I want that in uh, bedding. I want that in ink pads uh, because I've often said it, and I will say it again. Oh my God, it's just the most beautiful ink. Beautiful, beautiful pink yeah. pad. And I think that's why where it, my colour palette would be bright and beautiful. So mm. the neons definitely would be, a, if I could put that into an ink pad, that would be the one that okay. I would go with. Have you got one, Becky? I, no, I, I don't know. I, I think I would have gone for something pink, uh, which is quite boring. But I like the idea. We don't have any neon ink pads. Do we? We don't have any like neon colour. It would be lovely to have neon range of anything, yeah. Becky. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it would... Um, oh, yeah. Might have to pinch, but yeah, um, might have to pinch uh, that. Um, Leanne. Leanne, Leanne's um, going to show me how to crochet tomorrow. Can I have a crochet lesson with Leanne really? in, in the break? Yeah, um, oh, because that's um, lovely. I've, I've tried to crochet so many times, and I just can't do it. So I love, honestly, Leanne I would love has, to crochet, but I just don't think I'd have the time. Well, Leanne said I can teach anyone to crochet, so I was like, okay, well, there's a challenge. I don't know my left and my right, so this is going to be a challenge, isn't it? Um, <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to do. So well, we should we should mention it to, to her tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Um, neon ink pad. Um, celebrate your special day is the one that I've gone for. So that's mm -hmm. my sentiment stamped out, and I did use the I, I chose the same colour uh, from the sentiment. So that's the sentiments all finished with. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to stamp all of those lovely silhouettes in. Now I've taken and I think I've used the jet black harmony one the plan was i was going to heat set them but i don't think we've got enough time to do that so i'm not going to worry too much just want to lay down that color um now it's up to you how you design this so you've got all of these lovely ones to choose so how i decided to do this was i've used this one on the bottom i've used this two shaped in the bottom corner i've then added the um slope onto this one and we will put it in afterwards. The palm trees are going to go in there. But I've tried to use everything. So I've even used things like um, the... Um, let me get that the right way around. There we go. Um, I've used things like the uh, dropped lanterns as well. So this is about building up your um, image. Now, if you're not confident or comfortable, and I'm going to just say it because... Because I'm rushing, I don't want it to go wrong at the very end. So I'm going to bring in my stamping platform that holds them down into place. Um, just because it would make it easier. I will tell you, I at home did use my rocker blocks. But I don't want to risk it for a biscuit now. It's uh, too late in the day. <laughs> so we're going to hold it down. And while I'm there, I'm going to bring in um, the hanging ornament. So I'm going to go with a short one. So I'm going to bring that down to there. Uh, you've got stars in here as well, so you can add the stars in. Um, I think I will while I've got that on. I want to make sure I've got that the right way around though, Becky, because I know what I'm like. There we go. Um, and then just bring in and make sure now I can position my magnets around where I need it to be. So I think I'm happy with that. Pop that down, pick up the stamps and then ink. Do you know what? I might change it. I'm going to change it use me finesse waterproof why 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 you get why? a nice solid color and uh, look at you why 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 why, why, why debbie why um you do get a nice solid color with it and i'm not doing the heat setting so i don't really need that right okay. yeah so yep. this will give you a permanent um col uh, color and a nice jet black one as well and you can also because you're using stamping platform if you miss anywhere or you haven't got the right pressure or the magnet can also can i just tell you the magnet can interfere so move the magnet be careful not to move your panel oh don't that look quite that looks quite atmospheric it does i, I like that. that yeah but can you see the ink still there yeah. i didn't quite get that down and i think that might possibly because have been of the magnet that was in the way so i'm just going to squidge because that that looks okay it's just that part perfect so that's one of them done however we'll come back to that in a second i'll bring this one in let me just remove the other one before I forget. Remind me I've got stamps everywhere, Becky, because <laughs> we've got how many minutes left, guys? 15, mm, doable, yeah. Yeah, doable. Uh, I'm gonna bring the moon in. So let's bring that uh, half crest moon. Bring in that stamp, what did I do with stamp? Oh, where's the big one? 
gone. There they are. I, do you know, I forgot I'd got it on there, didn't I? I had it on me. Uh, shall we have a big star on? Yeah. Yeah, let's change it up a little bit. I'm going to put that down the right way. There we go. Change it up. Again, you're in control of this bit now because <laughs> um, you literally decide where you want to ink or where you want to place them, um, what ink you want to use, what colours. Don't forget you've got the shimmers in there, that midnight blue. Why didn't I think of that? You could use the ink, like I'm thinking of these things after that, after I've done the project. Um, but uh, yeah, you could use um, those shimmer ink pads yeah. um, and then heat set them. That's a, that's a good, sh mm, I wish I'd have thought of that. Perfect, that's that one done. Let's bring in the other edge one. And I'm going to do this, um, let's put that down a little bit. Make sure I've got that the right way around. I'm going to bring in one of those lanterns again. So I think I'll bring in the... Where's that short one? There it is. Be careful, though, because I haven't cleaned it. So when I drop it down, it's going to have to stay put. Can't, I can't do anything about it, otherwise I'll end up with a smudge. So make sure you clean your stamps in between. Put another couple of little stars on. In fact, I'll just have a little star here. I'll take that one off. Take that one off. And the big star off. I'll pop that down. And again, just pick up... And you see, because I've already used those, I've still got a little bit of ink left over, but it doesn't matter. There we go. And then pop that back down. Make sure all those feet are in, and then push down so you don't get any ghosting. It wants to be over directly over the top of your stamp. Otherwise, you will get um, a bit of ghosting. You can see there's still a bit of ink there. Hoping that stamp didn't move too much. Just push that down. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I can always add a little bit into there if I want to, but I want to just finish off with, and I will bring in my platform back in because I'm not quite finished there. I want to add the palm trees. So let me bring in my rocker block. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just uh, push that there with that one. Bit of ink again. Over the top of the image. If you are using your rocker blocks, make sure you've got a nice clean um, area. And I'm going to put my palm trees just into there now. And again, making sure I've got that really nice uh, finish. And then I'm just going to add a couple of more little details. How are we doing for time? I'm just checking because I just want to make sure I've got a nice bit of time. Because I'm just going to add... How, how long was that? 12 minutes. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we should be okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to add in some extra little pieces. So, I'm just going to now... Ooh, wait a minute. Just saw that there. Just want to make sure there's no interference and I'm not ruining anything with any excess ink that's escaped because that's the only problem that you can end up with. You can end up with, like... <laughs> you can end up ruining your image with these silhouette stamps if you've got ink anywhere on your rocker block that it doesn't need to be however i'm happy with what i'm doing so i'm going to come in and just add the extra little flourishes and it makes a nice little difference i think, I've, I think i'm just going to add another one yeah so it's that this is what i love about these stamps it's what i love about stamping full stop the fact that you can just add little elements into there and complete your uh, the process thought about it so again I'm going to come in just random places, I think, now. Don't worry about your stamping mat. That's what it's there for. All I'm just making sure is I've got no ink <laughs> coming where I don't want it to be. So, again, happy with that. I might have a little bit of a ghosting down here. Yeah, I like that. So, that's another one. I'll just finish off just with this piece as well. I think I've gone to town with this one. I do like this flourish, flourish one, this leaf one. I think it's really lovely to add a little bit of detail into your into your projects. So I think I might just. Add you can almost feel the heat coming off. No, looking out the windows. Really? Yeah, I think so. I can. I can really sort of. of um, feels like I'm on on holiday. There we I'm go. Not being weird saying that. And I'm really happy <laughs> with all of those. So I'm not going to do They're anything gorgeous. else. Gorgeous. I, I just think that that bit is yeah. that bit is down for you to get a little bit creative with. Right, placement. Let's pop them onto here. So the large one is going to go in there. I'll have my palm trees this side. 
Oh, that looks so good, Debbie. Oh, you see what I mean about yeah. with everything when it's all on yeah. and now it all works? Yeah. See, you just have to trust the process, Becky. That's the thing. Trust the process. Now, the next thing I need to trust is that I've got enough foam pads because I'm going to lift those. So I'm just going to literally pop those on. And it's going to go on all four. Just going to randomly put them on. Might need another one just down there. And then the same on this one. And then that one. Right, so, poke tool. Now, I always start with the middle, Becky. So I'm going to place that on. Yep. And I'm going to have them this way around so I can place and position. And then I can turn them over and I, I roughly know where I'm going to go with them. However, I might just want a bit of a helping hand. Because if I get them down, <laughs> they could stay stuck so let's give a bit of an helping hand a little bit of glue on the back position that into roughly the middle slot and straighten up because i think at the minute it looks a bit wonky let me just pick that up that's fine and then we're going to do the same with the others so i'm going to come in and we're going to pop the glue down onto that one and then push that at the same, I want it to be kind of level at the bottom. So, and again, just a little bit push into this side to frame that a little bit. And then lastly, the last one on there. And then we'll get the sentiment on. If we have time to do the foils, we'll do the foils. If we don't, you can add that detail and I'll talk you through it in a second. So I think what we've done is we've got the main part of the card done. And this is always the important bit. Oh, that shine on that, that shimmer is just exquisite. Sentiment back in just for a second. We're going to trim this down. So I'm going to use my small guillotine. Oh, my life. Look at the front of my desk, Becky. I feel like you've got an insight to what it's like in the craft room. <laughs> Very messy. Um, but I'm having fun. And that's what crafting is all about. And it's that mindfulness. And it's getting lost in that little world of um, your, you know, your creation. What take, it's taking you right there, to be honest. It takes you right there. Now, I'm just going to soften up the edge of this one. And I think I'm going to soften it with that, um, go, that golden glow one. That lovely, um, oh, I forgot the name of this one. Sun, um, oh, no, it's called Golden. Oh, I want to burst into Harry Styles then. Bit of golden. Oh, Harry Styles. Oh, yes, Harry Styles, yes. <laughs> yes, love a bit of Harry. Right, finishing off, I am going to just do a little bit of matting and layering. I'm going to bring in the black first, and I'm going to bring in my... Uh, oh. <laughs> I've used the lilac central repel again, Becky. <laughs> We need to get rid of that, don't we? Yeah, so, I think I better move it, is what I better do. I think I better move it out of the way. Uh, now, I want to bring in a few layers with this. So I'm going to just come in and add, I think I'm going to add some of that gorgeous um, orange. We've got scraps of it still here at the side from earlier on. Um, and I think it'll just tie in really nicely. And I do like sometimes to mat and layer my sentiments a little bit on the full side, shall we say. So I'm going to put that down to there, bring my guillotine back in. And I might just finish it off to add a little bit of black in again, framing it. And then the last bit, I'll just put a little bit more. Move you out of the way. Come on, out of the way, out of the way. I haven't got time for you. <laughs> how, long we, how long have we got left, guys? Yeah, I think we may have to skip the foil stage, Becky. I think Sad. I know. Sad I think times. we've done well, though. To be fair, I think we've done well here with what we've got done and what we've achieved. There's in so the two much hours. in this project. There is, and it's a beautiful, beautiful collection that I know. If you've got it, and I know there's lots of you that already have, um, it's absolutely glorious. So I'm going to stick that in between the two, just there, just hiding. I could have popped it over there, but I think I'm going to stick it just between the two. So I'm going to pop a little bit. I'm going to keep this bit flat. And just place that in between and I'm going to try and bring it up so it's all in line on my original one it was um, 
it was just a little bit protruding out is that the right word yeah um but we've got and i'm just going to show you what the stage that we're at at the minute please excuse you've got your three turrets yep thank you with all your lovely stamped image you've got your inside looking really Brilliant. beautiful and if you want to hang something in there you could absolutely hang attach something mm. and hang maybe one of the lanterns yeah. stamp it and fussy cut around it um and then you've got the back panel done actually do you know what i quite like that because of that that back part nice with the, the only on thing it. that i did different on my original one and i will if i have a moment to clear up and we'll have a check on the time check just to show you how we can uh, put them together um, with the foils is take a piece of the foil and I've, do you know what I hope, I hope I've only gone and done it again Becky I pre-cut myself another piece and I've gone and cut into it with my Tourette's turrets I don't believe that that's the second time I've cut that piece out and I'm just gonna bring <laughs> seriously <laughs> oh dear on the piece that measures a four and a half by seven and a half, uh, seven and a half that you will still have i have just literally taken three of the corner pieces and used that lovely uh, moroccan style building there that lovely real fla uh, real flavor of this collection i think mm. um and i've just um foiled them not hot foiled them it's a rub on it's a transfer um if you caught any of the other shows you'll see how easy it is to do i'm so sorry guys that we've run out of time so that we couldn't quite complete that but i think we've done pretty oh, done actually loads. look at the two because i've chosen the different papers look at the difference between the two i actually quite like this one more mm -hmm. becky because of that um striking difference with the dark cardstock behind yeah. it that tart paper but you can be creating these and again put your panel on the back if you want to write on it don't do a debbie don't cut into it don't keep cutting into it like i've been doing all afternoon uh, but i hope you've enjoyed the craft along i hope i've given you some tips and some inspiration to use this collection to its fullest um and i can't wait to see if you have done this don't forget tag myself and becky into the tags if you're sharing on the socials so we can have a little look and a nosy we both like to neb uh, <laughs> I do. I love to have a nose day. Eh? Uh, so, yes, please do tag us in there. And uh, whew, that's another well day done. done and dusted. Day well three, done. I think it is for me. I think that it looks absolutely beautiful. I love all the de different techniques you've shown us in that. Um, one of the messages that came through um, was from Janet just saying, uh, sorry, Jeanette saying, when you were laying down the colour, I thought it looked a little bit messy. But when you, like you say, when you put the black silhouettes on there, it makes it really finish. Um, Absolutely, and, yeah. And actually, you might think you wouldn't achieve, be able to achieve that kind of blending, but yeah. you've shown us actually. But it's they very are easy three. They are three quite striking colours that mm. I use there, and sometimes that smooth blending that you think automatically you need to get once you've added the extra layers on it yeah. really doesn't matter and i think it's shown perfectly in there yeah. because it does look like that little bit of a skyline and that lovely sun you know mm. th I, that's the look that i was achieving with that so thank you for that that's uh, that's very nice yeah, of you really say. good um and all the comments beautiful beautiful gorgeous lovely everyone as, is absolutely loving this um it's absolutely stunning um design that you've got there so this is using the arabian nights we've got a showstopper um collection have we got enough time to quickly run through it i've got a minute right i'm going to quickly show you all the things that you can get in the showstopper so you've got some dies and some stamps you've got um, these foils you've also got those ink pads that you sh saw debbie uh, using earlier you've got your sentiments you've got a selection of different dies these ones are your embellished twin but you've also got these lanterns as well which are upside down um, Arabian lanterns. Um, this one is um, a Moroccan tile. You've also got this beautiful decorated window, which you saw, saw Debbie using. You've got a skyline as well. You've got an, um, what's that called? An embossing folder? <laughs> <laughs> you've got these stencils, which I have to say, I really, really like these stencils. But you've also got in here, you've got um, some linen cardstock in all of those beautiful colours. You've got a six by six paper pad. And finally, you have a 12 by 12 paper pad as well. Gorgeous collection. Do take full advantage of checking out your basket and popping it in. We will see you bright and early tomorrow um, for our day of sewing. Take care. Bye-bye.